Uh, what year do you think we'll have a super intelligence? I don't know. I mean, that's pure speculation. I think it's. Uh, I, I think it's very clear, just taking a step back, that we had a big breakthrough in the last year. Yes. Right where the the LLMs and diffusion models basically reached a a scale where they're able to do some some pretty interesting things. And then I think the question is, what happens from here? And just to paint the two extremes, on the um, on on one side, it's like, okay, well, we just had one breakthrough. If we just have like another breakthrough like that, or maybe two, then we could have something that's truly crazy, right? And and is like is um just like so much more advanced. And and on on that side of the argument, it's like, okay, well, maybe we're um you know, maybe we're only a couple of big steps away from uh from 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 reaching something that looks more like general intelligence. Okay, that's one that's one side of the argument. And the other side, which is what we've historically seen a lot more, is that a breakthrough leads to, um, you know, in that in that Gartner hype cycle, there's like the hype, and then there's the trough of disillusionment after when like people think that there's a chance that hey, okay, there's a big breakthrough, maybe we're about to get another big breakthrough, and it's like actually you're not about to get another breakthrough. You're maybe you're actually just gonna have to sit with this one for a while, and. Um, and you know it could be, it could be five years, it could be ten years, it could be fifteen years until you figure out the um, the kind of the next big thing that needs to get figured out. And um, but I think that the fact that we just had this breakthrough sort of makes it so that we're at a point of almost a very wide error bars on what happens next. Yeah. Um, I think the traditional technical view, or the, uh, like looking at the industry would suggest that we're not just going to stack in a like breakthrough on top of breakthrough on top of breakthrough like every six months or something right now i think it, it, it will i'm guessing i would guess that it, will, that it will take somewhat longer in between these but um i don't know well but i tend me- to be pretty optimistic about breakthroughs too so i mean so I, I think if you if you if you normalized for for my normal optimism then then maybe it would be even even slower than what i'm saying but but even within that like i'm, I'm not even opining on the question of how many breakthroughs are required to get to general intelligence because no one knows. But this particular breakthrough was so such a small step that resulted in such a big leap in performance as experienced by human beings that it makes you think, wow, are we is as we stumble across this very open world of research, will we stumble um across another thing that will have a giant leap in performance. And uh, also we don't know exactly at which stage is it really going to be impressive because it feels like it's really encroaching on impressive levels of intelligence. You still didn't answer the question of what year we're going to have super intelligence. I'd like to hold you to that. No, I'm just kidding. But is there something <laughs> you could say about the timeline as you think about the development of um, AGI super intelligence systems, sure. So I, I still don't think I have any particular insight on when, like a singular AI system that is a general intelligence will get created. But I, I think the one thing that most people in the discourse that I've seen about this haven't really grappled with is that we do seem to have organiz- organizations and. You know structures in the world that exhibit greater than human intelligence already. So, you know, one example is a you know a company. You know, it acts as an entity. It has you know a singular brand. Um, obviously, it's a collection of people. But I I certainly hope that you know Meta with tens of thousands of people makes smarter decisions than one person. But I think that that would be pretty bad if it didn't. Um, another example that I think is even more removed from kind of the way we think about like the personification of of um of intelligence which is often implied in some of these questions is think about something like the stock market right the the stock market is you know takes inputs it's a distributed system it's like the cybernetic organism that you know probably millions of people around the world are basically voting every day by choosing what to invest in but it's basically this this organism or or structure that is smarter than any individual that we use to allocate capital 
as efficiently as possible around the world. And I, I do think that this notion that there are already these cybernetic systems that are either melding the intelligence of multiple people together or melding the intelligence of <clears throat> multiple people and technology together to form something which is dramatically more intelligent than any individual on the uh, in the world um, is something that seems to exist and that we seem to be able to harness in a productive way for our society as, as long as we basically build these structures and balance with each other. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, that, that at least gives me hope that as we advance the technology, and I don't know how long exactly it's going to be, but you asked, when is this going to exist? I think to some degree, we already have many organizations in the world that are smarter than a single human. And, and that seems to be something that is generally productive in advancing humanity. And somehow the individual AI systems empower the individual humans and the interaction between those humans to make that collective intelligence machinery that you're referring to smarter. So it's not like AI is becoming super intelligent, it's just becoming the uh, the engine that's making the collective intelligence is primarily human more intelligent. Yeah. It's, it's educating the humans better, it's making them better informed, it's uh, making it more efficient for them to communicate effectively and debate ideas. And through that process, just making the whole collective intelligence more and more and more intelligent, maybe faster than the individual AI systems that are trained on human data anyway, are becoming. Maybe the collective intelligence of human species might outpace the development of AI. <laughs> just like I, I think there is a balance in here because I mean, if if like you know, if a lot of the input that that the systems are being trained on is basically coming from feedback from people, then a lot of the development does need to happen in human time, right? It's it's not like a machine will just be able to go learn all the stuff about about how people think about stuff. There's there's a cycle to, to how this needs to work. This is an exciting world we're living in and that you're at the forefront of developing.